Our beloved emissary system was so young, barely a week old, its lucrative life cut too soon. We shall miss you, emissary system 1.0, you beautiful, glorious loot grinder's dream. Here were some of my favorite moments, raising the flag for the first time, throwing firebombs at another ship, chasing down scurvy dogs and stealing their stuff, and then turning that stuff in for massive amounts of gold. Rest in peace. What's up everyone? I have some very unfortunate news for us all. It looks like the emissary system has been nerfed in the most recent update for Sea of Thieves. To say it wasn't expected though, I mean, let's be honest. We were seeing people max out all their levels within the first week and people were at Reaper Bones reputation level 75 by the end of the first day. Something needed to change. So let's jump into the details and find out what that something is. First and foremost, it looks like cashing in Gold Hoarders and Reaper Bones Emissary Flags has seen a rebalance. Let's cover the sad part first. Higher tier grade Emissary Flags now award less gold and reputation. The good part, lower grade emissary flags will now award more. So there's a little bit of a balance there. We also see a change when ending an emissary session, AKA lowering your flag. Both the gold and reputation awarded has been reduced across all emissary grades and trading companies. Also, it looks like the reaper's chests and the reaper's bounties values remain unchanged, but the reputation earned from cashing in all other treasure to the reaper bones has now been reduced which makes the reaper chests and bounties more valuable and higher targets which i am all for nothing like yoinking one of those bad boys from other pirates now for reaper's bones emissary grade progression we have seen some changes as well as a reaper's emissary getting loot will be slightly less effective at progressing your grade however acquiring other crew's emissary flags and getting emissary kills remain as effective as ever which means murder is still on the menu thank the whale lord other changes we see are for athena's fortune specifically around the grade progression and the quest as an emissary for Athena's fortune, crews will now be required to perform more actions to advance their grade, and the quest earned at grade 5 will now require crews to sail for longer distances to earn their legendary rewards, which means crews going after this lucrative treasure will be on the seas for a longer period of time, which is perfect, at least for us thieving pirates. All in all, these changes are a bit of a bummer, but at the same time, it does make sense. Pirates were maxing out their rep within a few days. However, we will always remember this week as the glorious week of the Emissary. Still a bright future ahead for all of us, just going to take a bit longer to get there. What do you think of these changes? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated. And if given the opportunity of your sub, I promise I will continue to work hard, bring you quality content worthy of it. And as always, to those of you that have already subscribed, thank you so very much for your support. And with that being said, I hope to see you all out on the seas. Thank you.